like you are asking if um, multiple people from different time zones time not time zones uh, different uh, parallel worlds can meet each other or not first of all we would have to see if there is such a thing as parallel worlds or not so um, not in the way like uh, we see in the fiction but uh, obviously there are parallel worlds there are uh, i'm not saying there might be i'm saying there are because um, we know there are angels uh, who are doing their own duties their own tasks they are doing uh, they are they are worshiping allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on different uh, levels of the skies in their own way uh, because of their duties it's, uh, most of them would have never come to the earth or there is it is none of their concern to about what's happening on earth and they are doing their duties around the skies around the other planets or their universe like uh, not the other universe like other planets other solar systems or anything so they do they do exist uh, so again um, such kind of uh, parallel uh, phenomena par uh, parallel worlds do exist but if we can come in contact with them or they can come in contact with us or not uh, it's uh, like uh, it, it's totally on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy most in most of the cases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given uh, has assigned the duties uh, to the angels to the humans or uh, or, or other creatures Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created so in most in in most cases those angels those things um, uh, keep on doing their duties according to whatever is assigned to them but in some contexts but in some scenarios Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might ask one uh, order not ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might order uh, other creatures to come in contact with us uh, for example, in Ghazwatul Badr, we do know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did send the angels from the skies to come in support of the Muslims. They might have been in their own jobs and duties, but they were sent over. And we do know that the Satan, the Iblis, he was, he keeps on doing things around, but he rarely comes in contact with humans. But at the time of Ghazwa, he did come to uh, the Mushrikeen and tell them of, of his support. But when it came uh, at the time of battle, he ran away. But he did come in some physical form to, to assure his support for the Mushrikeen. So they would fight with the... Um, with the Muslims uh, thinking they have more power than they did have. But since Satan, either a Mushrik or a non-Mushrik or a Muslim, Satan is the enemy of humans, not the Muslims. He is the enemy of humans. So he did uh, run away and did not come with, like obviously he could not come with any other uh, physical support because he's a devil. Uh, but he did come in contact with um, with the humans. Similarly, uh, uh, in Surah Al-Jinn, we know that jinns have their own parallel world. They do exist, but they they exist in their own way. But they did come in contact with Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They did listen to Quran and they became become Muslims. Uh, so we know of the angels, we know of the jinns, we know of the humans, we know of, um, of, of the animals, we know of the insects. Uh, those things either we have experienced with our five senses or we have heard in uh, Quran, through Quran and Hadith are the creatures we know of. But we do know 
also know that there are several other creatures Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created that we do not know the names of or we do not know how they exist or work. So those kinds of creatures um, could also be uh, coming in contact with humans in a form uh, we might not have observed that there are some other creatures. Some creatures can also shape shift. For example, Jibreel alayhi salam uh, sometimes uh, came to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam in human form. Uh, so, so we might have never realized that something like that would have happened. But again, I would like to emphasize like every time that these concepts are interesting, are, 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 are something uh, that gives you uh, philosophical or intellectual uh, entertainment, some refreshment, and it makes you feel uh, relieved in a way that you have engaged yourself in an intellectual discussion. But there is hardly, hardly any benefit from all uh, these kinds of beyond physics phenomena that we keep on discussing. For, for the one reason for that is that we hardly drive any results from these. Second thing is that the most important thing is uh, if something is driving action, then it is good. If something is not driving any action, uh, then it is probably just useless. Um, all that is required for us is to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who created the universe and we are the ones who have to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we would be answerable for whatever we have been doing. And that's more important. We, we need action and what kind of action? We have to avoid all forms of shirk, shirk and we have to obey the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the way Allah has mentioned in the Quran and Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has, has shown us how to do that. And that is, the crux of that is to be better humans, to be more giving to the people around you, to be more tolerant to everyone including humans and animals and uh, especially to the people around you and 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 all those action actions are driven by the basic concept that there is no god but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you avoid shirk then there is baraka in your life and all other actions uh, are are like they become easy because you are avoiding politism, you're avoiding shirk, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happy with you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you uh, with his mercy and then you are able to do good deeds and eventually inshallah uh, will be in Jannah because um, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you the ability to do that.